Hello all back again, this time I'm going to be showing you how to uh, set up the official build of Plex which came out the other day plus uh, Open Media Vault so the first thing we do we'll go to the Open Media Vault website uh, the installation images can be found here so just click there just scroll down to Raspberry Pi images and just click the link if it doesn't download just click problems downloading and then just go for the direct link and just click save I'll speed this bit up a bit once it gets going there it goes right that's done the thing we're going to do now is burn it with a bit of a software called etcher I'll put a link in the uh, description, so I'll just start that up. All we want to do is select image, then the image we just downloaded, just double click on it to open it. Uh, that's the SD card I'm using, and then just click flash. This can take a little while, but I'll uh, speed it up once it uh, starts going and that's done, it's just uh, verifying now and uh, that's all done the image has been burnt to an SD card so I can uh, close that window and cancel that thing you do now is just uh, plug the SD card into your Pi the thing we're going to do now is log into Open Media Vault which is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi have a look in your router to find it uh, username is admin and password is Open Media Vault all lowercase so just log in thing we're going to do now is mount the hard drives you're going to use, uh, be using I'm using um, Seagate USBs so you want to go into storage then file systems and there's my Seagate drive so I just select it and then I want to mount it and then you just apply and yes doesn't take too long to do right that's done now we're going to go into access rights management and shared folders going to click add uh, give it a name uh, I'm going to call it movies then I'm going to select my device which is my Seagate just going to double check the path yep that's the right one you can select it and just go OK in uh, permissions I always set it to everyone read and write and click save and just click apply and yes just going to add another folder this one I'll name TV same drive I'll just check the path yep just select it just to make sure same again for permissions everyone and click save and then apply and then yes and that's done now we're going to go into services and we're going to set up a Samba server SMB so you want to click enable then save and apply 
and yes. Now we're going to add shares and then add shared folder and in the drop down I've got my movies which I just set up in public I'm going to put uh, set it to guests allowed and save and then apply and yes And add again, I'm going to add the TV folder. So in the drop down, I'm going to select TV. I'm going to set it to guests allowed again and click save. Click apply again and yes. And uh, that uh, that part's done. Just going to check the shares are working to my uh, Windows PC. If you don't see them come up, just click the refresh. But uh, there's my Raspberry Pi. And there's a Movies folder. Yep, everything's there. And my TV folder. Yep, that's all done and working. The thing I'm going to do now is set up SSH. So we can... Uh, uh, log into the Raspberry Pi using a bit of software called Putty. So you want to permit root login. We're, we're doing this so, uh, so we can install Plex. Click save. And apply. Then yes. Right, that's all done. Has everything done in uh, Open Media Vault so we can leave, just shut it down and leave. The thing we're going to do now is shush or SSH into the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to use a bit of software called Putty. So you just want to use the same IP address. Just have a look in your router, you should find it. So just use the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and then click Open. Just click yes, so it's the first time you've done it. First time you log in, you log in as root and then open Media Vault for your password in lowercase. First time you do this, it's going to ask you to change the password. So uh, enter open Media Vault again. And then just change it to any password you want, as long as you can remember it. That's done. thing I recommend doing now is rebooting the Raspberry Pi, because when we go to install Plex, you sometimes get errors about permissions. So if you reboot it, you won't, get, you won't see the errors. So just do sudo reboot, or sudo reboot, and reboot the Raspberry Pi which I'm doing now. Just click OK, it's rebooting. Doesn't take too long to do. I'll do this in real time because it doesn't take too long. Right, we're going to open up Putty again. IP address of the Raspberry Pi and open just move it to the center login is root again and the password is the one you just set up the new one thing we're going to do now is go to the Plex website and just uh, scroll down 
and you'll, you'll see get Plex. Just click on that. Thing is, we're not going to download Plex. So you want to go Plex Media Server. We just want the link to it. In the drop down, uh, select Linux. Then you want to choose a distribution. As we're using uh, a Pi 3 and Open Media Vault, you want ARM 7. We're not going to download it. We just want the link to it. So right click on it. And you want to copy link address. That's all you want, the link address. So I'm going to close that down. Just going to open a little text document and paste in the link address. All I want is that bit for the first bit to download it to the Raspberry Pi. And I just paste it after wget paste. And I just want the end part. Copy it. And just paste after that uh, bit of code. Right, source lists is when you see an update to a Plex. This is, is so the Plex, um, it knows where to look for the updates. So you add your source list in. Just copy it. Right click to paste it in and just click enter and it takes a couple of seconds that's done right now we're going to copy this bit of code just copy it all wget copy it right click to paste it and then just click enter the thing it's going to do now is download plex to the raspberry pi doesn't take too long to do mine's coming up at about uh, a minute just under so I'll fast forward through this bit once it gets going. And that's done. Now we use the second bit of code to install it. Just click copy. I'll just minimize that. Just right click and enter. Now it's going to install the Plex server to the Raspberry Pi. Doesn't take too long to do. I'll do this in uh, real time. And that's done. All you want to do now is click Y for yes and then press enter. And that's uh, Plex installed on the Raspberry Pi. So uh, say it didn't take too long to do. Right, these other parts say Raspberry Pi Plex update. When you see an update to Plex, you can use uh, this top bit of code and that will just update Plex by using that bit of code. I'll put the links, I'll put this all in the description. If you want to update Open Media Vault and Plex at the same time, use sudo update and sudo upgrade. That'll upgrade the pair of them. Or just use the top one if you just want to up, uh, update Plex. It's entirely up to you, but both work. Just minimize that. I'll just close uh, Putty. Click OK to close it. So that part's all done now. The thing we're going to do now is log into Plex via your browser. So it's the IP address of the Raspberry Pi plus colon 32400 backslash web to log into the Pi. I've already got a shortcut. I think that was a colon. Right, we're logging into Plex for the first time. So down the bottom, just click got it. 
and you can just cancel that just uh, click the X this is the name of your Plex server so you can call it anything you want I'm just going to call it Pi I don't use my Plex server outside my home so I'm going to untick that box and just click next now we're going to add libraries this is a little Plex uh, test server I set up so I'm going to add films then next I'm going to browse for my media folder you always find them right down the bottom and movies just showing a few movies I've put on a SD card and then add library you can add other libraries as well you can do it now or you can do it afterwards it doesn't matter click next next again so this is a few films I've got on my uh, test Plex server now it's just uh, downloading all the info and the film banners I'll do this in real time doesn't take too long but if you've got a few hundred movies and say TV shows it can take a few hours to do so be warned but I'll just show you in real time as it's working There's one, two, three. Come on, two more. There we go. And uh, that's them five movies do uh, done. I'll just check all the information. Uh, all the information's been added, like actors and everything. The thing I'll do now, I'll swap over to my main Plex server, so you can see a full one on my main Plex server. This is my main Plex server with all my stuff on it. That's the front page of Pe uh, Plex. I'll go into my films and that's most of my films. So as always, I uh, hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.